Starting route to Michael's. We're in the Michael's parking lot, but we are also going to hit up Joann's and Hobby Lobby too because they're literally right across the street. I have a little shopping list, but it's one of those days where I just kind of feel like going through every single aisle, if you know what I mean. Also, don't look at my nails because they're horrendous right now. I put on some glue on nails and there's literally one left my left pinky nail <laughs> okay so on my list i have for michael's i want to get some dowels and this is to make some flowers i was using floral wire before but the floral wire i'm using is way too thin so it's really floppy so i want to try dowels or if i can find some thicker wire maybe i'll use that and then I also want to get some sweet snuggles yarn or chenille home yarn. I mean, not like I have a whole bunch at home, but there's a project that I'm going to be working on that I need different colors for, so I'm going to get some of that. At Joann's, I'm thinking I'm going to get some sewing stuff because I want to sew a lining into this crochet bag that I made, but I never really sew, so I need a little kit or something. I also might get some glue sticks. I have maybe a pack or less left, but I feel like since I'm already out, I may as well get it. And then Hobby Lobby, I don't have anything written down, but I'm just gonna take a look because Hobby Lobby is always a good time. Maybe I'll get some yarn, maybe I won't, we'll see. Joann's sorry not Joann's Michael's we're done with Michael's and I pretty much got everything I needed except a sewing needle so we're gonna go to Joann's now and after Joann's we're gonna head to Hobby Lobby okay parked outside of Joann's and the parking lot is literally empty something I love about my life right now is that I can go out and run errands in the middle of the day during the week I feel one with all of the retired folks and stay-at-home moms <laughs> As you can tell, this Joann's is on the older side. I think it's also a little smaller than the other Joann's I go to, but this was the closest to the Michaels and Hobby Lobby. So I thought, why not go here and go to all three at once? So yeah, let's go in. <laughs>
if she could see her building Try to tell her I know how I feel it Keep me flowing when I'm on my path Slow me down when I'm living fast Finished with Joann's, literally just got the pack of sewing needles, and yeah, done with Joann's. Now on to the last stop, Hobby Lobby. Don't have anything in mind, I just want to see what they have there because I'm curious. In this the end of the night, feel like you're dodging my eye. But then you're right by my side, tell me it's all in my mind. Hey guys, so I'm home now and I thought I would do a little haul. I got this big bag of yarn and another bag of small things from Michaels. And so you know how they only had one more of that blue colored Sweet Snuggles yarn that I kind of wanted, but the packaging just looked kind of weird. I didn't know if someone used it or not. So I decided to come home and order online, right? So then when I was online, I saw that Michaels is having a 20% off sale online so I could have saved some money there but I don't know if I feel like returning this yarn so I just might take the loss and keep whatever I have instead of returning it and buying it for 20% off but yeah so anyways on to the haul I'll show you the yarn first because of course that's the exciting part so I got all sweet snuggles yarn in well no sweet snuggles and chenille home yarn um, in different colors they're basically the same thing, but Chanel Home has more, I would say, muted and neutral colors, while Sweet Snuggles yarn is brighter and more like springy. Okay, first one I pulled out is the Chanel Home. What color is this? It's kind of purple, like a dark purple, a darkish purple. It does have a color name. The color name is Cassis. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Might not be, but that's how I'm pronouncing it. It's Cassis Chanel Home. I also got this light pink color. I got three of them because the project I'm working on would need more of it. Actually, I just realized I got both Chanel Home and Sweet Snuggles yarn, but they look pretty much the same. I 
feel like these are very, very similar. If I told you these were all the same yarn, would you believe me? Because I would believe me. The pink Sweet Snuggles yarn color is called Blush, and it looks like that. Um, the Chenille Home version is called Blush Pink, so they're both blush, and to me they look exactly the same. Another Chenille Home yarn I got was this, um, I don't know, marshmallow oatmeal looking one. The color is CH26, and this one is actually called Seed Pearl. Okay, lastly for the Chenille Sweet Snuggles yarn, um, I got this one, which is kind of like a teal blue. The exact name is called Teal, which is very fitting. But yeah, soft as ever, same as my other ones. If only you could see the stash of Sweet Snuggles yarn behind you right now, you'd be like, why do you need to get more? But you see, these are different colors, so technically they're different and I have an actual project in mind for them, so it's gonna be used. Now we have some miscellaneous things, like some glue stick packs, or one glue stick pack. I bought this at Michael's, but then I went to Joann's and Hobby Lobby, and I think Hobby Lobby had the least expensive glue sticks. Okay, so then next up I got some floral wire things, and this is to make some crocheted bouquets of flowers. I originally made some with floral wire that I ordered off of Amazon, but the floral wire was way too like wimpy and thin, so I wanted to get some thicker ones, and this is what they had. Um, and I felt like I had to maybe cut it, so I also got a cutter thing. I spent so much money that I didn't know I was gonna spend today. <laughs> okay, last up, I got some sewing needles because I want to sew a lining into my crocheted purse. I'll put a picture here and yeah I don't well I mean I might have sewing needles but I don't know where they are so bought some a whole pack in this little box right here so that they stay nice and concealed. Um, wait didn't I buy some thread too? Oh yeah also bought some thread to sew with. I, I didn't bring my pieces of cloth to make sure it matched the thread color, but um, I guess we'll do it right now. Yeah, so I wanted to sew probably this gray or silver-ish one lining into my bag, and so I got a gray-ish thread. Um, it's a little darker. I don't know if that's gonna work. I don't really sew. But we'll we'll see. <laughs> also with the thread, I got this at Michael's, but then when I went to Hobby Lobby, they had thread on sale for 99 cents, which is like two dollars cheaper. The original price is $2.99, and I think I got this for $2.99 as well. So I don't know. If I go back, maybe I'll return the yarn and I'll return this so that I can get those sales. <laughs> but do I really want to go back? We'll see. <laughs> So yeah, that's the end of the video. <laughs> As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you wanna see more. Also let me know what other kind of content you wanna see because I will probably make it. <laughs>